All right, guys, I just want to show you this. Have you, has anyone ever seen this and can this cause issues? Yeah, look at this. So many ants floating around in there. Like, what in God's name are they doing? Walk in. So many ants. Lift this thing up. Jeez. What are they doing? I feel like I just like walking on water. Checking out um, Bulk Reef Supplies supply of T5 Blue Plus. Just curious if they were having a, uh, I don't know, they sometimes do Black Friday sales like super early. Oh, not on sale yet. What's coming today is the Aquabiomics uh, Live Reef Rubble. So I got my recent results for the ICP. And one thing, let's go to the most recent, that is concerning is aluminum so aluminum I don't know if you guys can see that is high 261.1 percent the ideal value and I'm pretty certain it and it's been high all the time so it's high still so I got a feeling it's my marine pure block and balls that I have in the uh in the sump in the in the refugium area so i'm gonna take care of that actually right now before i get the aquabiomics uh reef rubble because i want to put that in the same place there's a block right there and then there's these balls here so i'm gonna remove that and remove these okay you can see it better i just turned the fuse light on get this out of there also look check that out Talk about SpongeBob SquarePants, huh? It's pretty cool. Is a that is a definitely a massive sponge. Oh, but that's gonna be a mess. Also, I'm not too worried about taking these guys out. It's not gonna, I think, impact my biodiversity in any way, because I've got all of these sponges here and up here. I've got a lot of sand and my rocks and everything. So, and I also have that which does have bio balls in it too but it also has a lot of just uh a lot of reef rubble in there so that's uh gosh i might just put the reef rubble in there but i'm definitely going to take these out i was going to put this basket back in but it's got some stuff on there and i just rinsed it with water so i'm not going to use that basket right now a pretty good amount of detritus and then i'll show you Pulled out all of those balls from the other area, and I got some here. So I'm gonna pull some out from there too. All right, let's see what I got down in here. Just get these bio balls, these big marine ones out. Get it out, stuff in there. I've got all that. That's a oh, heavy amount. And then, got that detritus over there, which I'm gonna siphon out, not right now, cause gotta get back to work. But uh, at least I got that out and we'll see how that does. But oosh, it really, really flooded the tank. So hopefully that's coral food. All right, I don't wanna throw this away. So I'm gonna soak this in some hydrochloric acid I had sitting on here. Nope, get your nose away. All right, I got the aquabiomics kit, came in. Look, certificate analysis with DNA. All of the listed out biome instructions here. All right, nicely packed in the jars. It's a good job. Yep, all verified. Really nice. All this water, all that rubble goes into the tank. I gotta turn off the skimmer for two days. So I'm gonna let it run like this. And then I gotta fix that, because that can't run either, so I gotta Somehow figure that out. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just pull the filter fleece up and take the, the little piece out. So I'm gonna dump these guys right into that basket right here in the front. It's a high flow area. So this should work in the direction that we're saying the high flow area is what you want. Yeah. So let that sit there. There it is. 
And I'm gonna just go ahead and clean everything with hydrochloric acid. It's gonna be nice and clean. So now it's like, it's Halloween night and everything looks good. I don't have any filtration running, so UV's off and the um, reef mat is not on. The one thing I'm worried about is the pH because I run a uh, CO2 reactor. I do worry about the pH drop with the skimmer being off for two days. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm just gonna let it fly and I'll monitor things. But I think it should be okay um, with Kalkwasser and all that kind of running. The fish look happy, everyone's looking good. And I'm, I'm hoping this does something. Uh, you know, if it kind of helps with the biodiversity and helps with the health of the corals and uh, helps with my nutritional issues that I've been having, uh, which hasn't been too bad, but for a year and a half old tank, I think uh, this is gonna be good. And um, I will report back on, on seeing how this works. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will update in a couple weeks. So everyone have a good uh, Halloween. Peace.